Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back. I am just finishing up a vlog from last week and I'm about to take Bo for a walk and I made a smoothie, which is very unusual for me. I normally have a really big breakfast. This might seem big to you, but normally I have a lot of breakfast, but there's spinach, romaine, some banana, some blueberries, flaxseed, and water. That's it. And it's really tasty. I did put a little bit of stevia in there. Very good. Okay, so today the plan is to upload last week's vlog, shoot this week's vlog, some of it. You guys saw that we put our dresser together and our room is coming together. Today I am working on some clients social media and my social media hopefully and also planning on going to um this girl's house she is selling a west elm couch i found her on facebook marketplace and she's selling another kind of couch as well and so that might be that might work out that might be our interim couch couches are so extremely expensive and i just can't decide if we should go ahead and invest in buying this huge couch um, or if we should buy a used more affordable sofa until we're ready to drop a couple grand on a couch which seems nuts to me so i'm going to also run some errands i'm in desperate need of returning a bunch of stuff that i bought um, in my efforts to get ready for my anniversary dinner that was on the 11th um and i ordered um some stuff online that i need to return and i just need to get that ball rolling i don't know about you but buying stuff and returning it is kind of one of the the most annoying things ever but you got to do what you got to do i'm excited so i'm going to take finish this upload the vlog to youtube because i just finished editing it this morning and then take Bo for a walk, take a shower. Perhaps later on in the vlog, I will also get to show you some new things that I've ordered, um, and which I'm very, very, very pumped about some stuff for summer. Okay, you guys, I will see you in a bit. I need a pair of decent, cool shoes, but yet I'm a little nervous that they don't seem to be I wonder how long it would take for them to stretch out. Oh, they, they're such a classic shoe. Those yeah. are super good. Okay, so we're at Marty and Liz. Like kind of a discount shoe store and we found a lot of really cute shoes. So we, I returned stuff to Target. I returned stuff to here and then somewhere else. Mom found these really cute Clarks and Supergas for $30. They're normally like 80 bucks. And then I found these amazing Solsana, I've never heard of this before, but they're brand new navy suede and then these Rebecca Minkoffs, which mom said look like street walker shoes, but I freaking <laughs> love them. Oh, I love them so bad. And then these Van Eli's, they're suede, but obviously I'm not going to get all these. But fun. Right, mom? So fun. much fun. Total fun. Total fun. Shoes. Glorious shoes. What in the world? Oh, look at these. Oh, gray super guys. I could do that. You could do gray. Sales report. Well, Mike and I are on our evening constitutional stroll and we just ran into Valerie, my neighbor and former co-worker from way back in the day. That was super fun. Um, the shopping and returning and errands and all that was very fruitful with mom and uh i'm very grateful that i got a lot of that stuff done but there's more to do tomorrow i mean the countdown is happening right babe it is to your big day a few more days how many more what day is it today? Today is the 13th. Is that okay. right? Seven days. Wow. Six Seven days. days until Mike starts the academy. I cannot believe it. 
Um, so we've still got lots of cleaning and organizing to do and we so are. So we um, had dinner and watched a really cool movie on Amazon Prime called 7500 with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Highly recommend it. And now we're gonna go back in. It's a real light movie. <laughs> it's not a, he's joking, but. Everybody wins. It's really intense, but it's really, really, really good. And um, anyways, um, we're back home and we're probably just gonna get ready for beds cause it's like nine o'clock. And um, then, yeah, we both have to be up early tomorrow. And um, I will check in with you. I'll check in with you in a bit. I'll check in with you tomorrow, okay. Good afternoon. I hope you are well. Um, disregard my pre-workout self. I wanted to show you guys some of the changes that we're making in the living room. Um, so Mike just found, we've been on the hunt for a television. Before you jump to any conclusions, let me just explain. So here's the deal. I have never really liked having a TV in the house. It's never been something that I've, that I've wanted and um, I don't like the idea of ever having a television in the bedroom. That's also a bit weird to me even though we take our phones in the bedroom now. I need to stop using my computer as a TV. We set the laptop on the coffee table and we basically just watch shows. And so Mike and I have been really talking about should we get a television? Cause that would make things a little bit cozier, a little bit nicer. So he found one at a really good price. It was on sale, you know, we don't want to spend a lot of money on a TV. That just seems a little bit weird. But, you know, we, we talked about it and we thought if it's a good price, we will go for it. And so um, I he found one and I cleared off the um, mantle. I don't know if I'm going to like having a TV on the mantle, but the other option is this window here. And as you can see, we are getting rid of some stuff by the front door. It's like an absolute mess in my house right now, which is driving me crazy. We've got bags of charity, um, this little red Karlstad couch from Ikea, which we've had for years and years. I'm hoping and praying that we're going to get rid of that very soon, because you guys know that my dream couch is a velvet sofa. And ideally it would be, ideally the sofa would be orange, crushed orange velvet, but I don't know if, I don't know if that's possible right now. Alternative color would be emerald green. And then third runner up would be like a, almost a light, a light blue or fourth runner up navy blue but I really want a velvet sofa <laughs> so badly. And the cool thing about Ikea though is that you can remove the covers and machine wash them. So that's been an endeavor as well. But all in all, you guys know from last week's vlog that I am just desperately trying to get organized before Mike goes back to, or before he starts working at the academy. And I'm just trying to clean the house from top to bottom, clean every nook and cranny, absolutely declutter, organize, get rid of stuff, sell stuff, the whole nine yards. So I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. Anyways, I will check in with you once we've got the TV up and, and or not, if the TV doesn't really work there. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna work out um, and see how that goes. Hey guys, at the thrift store, I can't believe it. I came and dropped off some stuff and um, I decided that it would probably be a good idea if I looked around. So let's see, I got some skirts to try on. Cool 90s vibe skirt with a slit. Cool floral skirt. A skirt, a black skirt, and then this kind of 90s mini. A casual quarter annex. 
stripey top, a Jose Banks silk print top, this crazy old navy cotton and velvet. It's very weird. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And then this cool old Ann Taylor. Very 90s, early 2000s. I will let you guys know how it goes. I'll try these things on. Okay, this is an almost. It's incredibly way too tight. Um, there's my little pooch. Uh, the lining is like busting it out. But it is a zero petite, so of course it's not going to fit me. But I think if I were a little bit thinner, it would be on this, like, because it's the perfect length. I like that it's a little bit longer. Maybe. It's a maybe. Okay, very similar skirt, but it's obviously incredibly cheap. It's like very poorly made, but it's very cute, <laughs> even for what it is. Uh, I don't like that you can see every little line under here though. Okay, this would have been perfect too, except for it's like <laughs> I feel so silly. Oh gosh. The skirt is obviously too tight. I generally love thrifting, but I guess I'm just not feeling it today. So I don't really want to try on those tops because something about trying tops on seems more complicated than trying skirts on. So I think I'm just going to go back home and see Mike. I don't think those would be really winners anyways. But it did fill my soul to come here and look around. Um, so I'll keep you posted about what happens for the rest of the night because I think tonight is the night that we're going to get the couch. So wish us luck. It may work, it may not. It's a West Elm sofa. It's used. Um, but it could be a good temp couch, a good interim sofa. And um, I'll bring you guys along and show you a bit of that. There's the sofa. It's super cozy. <laughs> Mom, if you want it, let me know. It's on sale. <laughs> and this is the one we're getting. So I'm really pumped. I cannot wait. Okay, just got home. And we got the couch, which I'm very excited about. And we have a freaking TV now, finally. I cannot believe that either. So this is our anti-bow on the couch device. So what I'm thinking is, for right now, I'm gonna have to keep this sofa in here, but I gotta figure out where to put it. The new sofa from West Elm is gonna go right right here. Um, that way we can just hang out and watch Teve. I'm still not sure about the TV on the mantle. I would love for you guys to vote on that or like leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think about that because alternatively I wouldn't mind placing it on this coffee table underneath this window and like maybe maybe getting some like some curtains you know some curtains on to hang down and then the TV would be in front of the curtains and I don't know please help interior designers please comment below Please help me. I'm trying to make my house cute on a budget. Facebook Marketplace to the rescue. Have a great day. Have a great first day. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so it is Monday and I sent my golf to his first day of the Fire Academy this morning and I was so unbelievably proud of him. I just could not contain myself. Um, it was so early and I was incredibly tired. Uh, I woke up in the middle of a dream, bleary-eyed, because I could hear him just getting ready to leave. And I was like, oh no, I have to get up and, and wish him a good day and say a prayer and send him off into the great big wide world. Um, he looked great in his new uniform, which I ironed for him, and um, yeah, I can't wait to hear how his first day of the academy went. I did already kind of hear from him a little bit, and he said it was very intense, so it's 
much more than we thought it was gonna be. Um, I kept telling him, don't worry, don't worry, and he was like, yeah, no, it was intense, so. Um, I wanted to show you guys the sofa that we got from Facebook Marketplace from this really sweet couple. This girl uh, gave me a pair of earrings from her, her new brand new jewelry collection, which was so sweet. And so I'm gonna show you those in a second, but first I wanted to show you without further ado, the sofa. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. There it is. It's the sofa. Bobby is like, what are you doing, mom? I was napping. So you can see we've still got quite a lot to figure out the uh, I, I'm really trying it takes a lot of effort but you know what it's just stuff it's all gonna go away someday but I'm grateful um, this is a beautiful couch it is a reversible sofa with chaise it's about six months old from Facebook marketplace and they bought it brand new from West Elm it normally retails for about 1500 it's still on their website i think it's the eddie large i'll i'll link it below so you can take a look at it and it's it's small it's like a mid-century modern design but it's much bigger than what we were used to which is this love seat carlstad from ikea which is about a gajillion years old <laughs> but it's still a good sofa um our dream couch is way out of our budget i just really wanted to start having people over to my home um, i wanted to have cozy nights where we could cuddle all three of us right Bo? all three of us this is kind of you know who's spot um, we bust out a little blankie for him and get him on there you know what i really love this couch because it has removable covers and you can clean them so it's got this beautiful kind of tweed, flecked gray color, which I really like. It's actually pretty great for his hair. Um, so it's very similar in style to the Carlstad. So I'm actually thinking about keeping this and replacing the cover with like a Bems sofa cover. I'll link them below as well. They, they make all different kinds of color, colors and fabrics that are custom designed only for Ikea's products and then switching out the legs using pretty pegs or something like that. In terms of like the comfort level of the couch, I was actually very surprised because it's not as deep as the Karlstad. And it seemed like it had about the same level firmness. It's got, yeah, it's actually a lot more cushy. Um, it's, again, it's not as deep as the Carlstad is, but I really, really, really like it. These pillow covers are old rugs, um, and I got them on eBay about four years ago. They're not very cozy, they're, they're rugs, so they're quite scratchy and itchy, but these are the velvet pillows from my bed, and that blanket looks like it's from the Socialite family. I will link the Socialite family below. It's a great French brand that you would absolutely love. Um, but it's actually from H&M. So they, they have similar styles on their website, H&M does right now, but not this mauve color or like purple, pink, dusty rose color. So guys, this is where I kind of need your help because I am thinking about, I'm thinking about the color scheme in here. I'm happy with this couch for right now, but it kind of changes my whole concept of my color scheme in my mind. So I'm thinking about trying some different colors to go with this, but still kind of keeping with the velvet theme. I will link some, I will link a Pinterest board below of like my most loved items uh, from around the internet. Uh, Cause I'm an obsessive compulsive collector of, of things from around the internet. I just keep wanting to show it to you. So my plan is to get your guys' help and feedback on that and hopefully maybe change up the color scheme a little bit. I'm not opposed to going the blue cool route, but I really want it to be warm and cozy in here because the walls are this beige color and the trim is white and a lot of my other furniture is light wood and white and to be perfectly honest with you, that's not my dream concept. So I'm 
I'm still trying to work with what I've got um, without having this desire to change the whole house because that's not realistic right now. So maybe I could get a cover for Bems and that would like bring the velvet into the mix, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Or should I sell the Bem, should I sell the Ikea Karlstad love seat and get like a little chair set? What should I do? I'm very, very, very conflicted. Obviously, this is my way of coping with everything that's going on in the world right now is to just make a nest. I don't know if that, are you doing that too? Are you like wanting to stay home and make a nest and make your home cozy and cute and sweet? So as I was saying, because my phone, I'm just vlogging. So as I was saying, because literally my phone cannot keep more than like two clips on it. Um, I was saying that I need to step up my game for the next 16 weeks because Mike graduates November 6th from the Academy and I think it's gonna be a really good season. It's gonna be a strange season, but good. I'm trying to find the positive every single day. It is um, important to do. And I think that it, if you are, if you're feeling low right now, or if you feel like you're struggling with stuff, that is okay. You are not alone. My friend Kate, likes to say that alone is a lie, so you're not alone um, in how you feel probably. A lot of people feel the same way, so just try to find one positive thing throughout the day. But yeah, I'm excited about this next little chapter in our life, and I can't wait to get your guys' feedback on some of the things that we can do in our home. If you're a very design savvy person or if you've got any resources you'd like to share with me, do let me know. So I'm going to get some laundry started and I'm going to get some dinner started and then I will try to, I don't know if this is really possible, but this is my little outfit. Just a simple little shirt, a uh, linen shirt thrifted and then denim, or denim cotton shorts from Old Navy that are about five years old and bought them and literally have never worn them until today. One last thing I wanted to say is I wanted to share the, um, the earrings from the sweet chick whose couch this is. Um, okay, so her brand is called Locally Clayed. So it's kind of a play on the words locally made, but it's locallyclayed.com and you can follow her on Instagram at locallyclayed and Facebook and Etsy. Here's what I really, really, really like about her is that she's also, she is a partner with this really amazing organization. Let me see if I can zoom in on that, pause the screen and read it if you can. Okay, anyways, I'll just read it. It says, based in the heart of Knoxville, locally clayed is more than just a line of handcrafted polymer clay accessories. We long to be a force for good by sparking a, mo a movement of women empowering women. So a portion of every sale is donated directly to the Ulistoweni Women's Center in Esto, oh wow, I should have read this before trying to say it out loud, Eswatini. Eswatini, South African. Um, it provides full-time residential care for women seeking refuge from emotional, physical, and or sexual abuse. The center offers so much more than a safe place to heal. The team is committed to holistic transformation through counseling, discipleship, vocational training skills for a life of success. So that's super cool. And any purchase you make, let me show you her cute little bag. That is so sweet. Um, and then the earrings are quite beautiful. Look at these little puppies. Um, I, I think they're really lovely. I like the texture and kind of the color and shape of them. They're totally not my style, but I still think they're beautiful. I mean, I, I feel like the, that would be a fun statement earring. I could see you just wearing this with a t-shirt or even just with what I'm wearing right now would be 
really cute and of course they go with the couch so if you want to coordinate with your couch you know just wear some earrings from locally clayed so i just wanted to support her and her husband because they're getting ready for a big move and um why not? I love supporting other women-owned businesses, and she just started it, and I love the mission behind Locally Clayed, supporting other women who have gone through tremendous trauma in their life, which I'm all about that. If you know me, you know I'm all about that. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to get dinner started, do some laundry, um, and then probably take the We One for his W-A-L-K this evening, and then who knows what but yeah I'll check in with you guys soon okay so I wanted to officially officially wrap up this vlog because it's ridiculously long and I can't believe that people actually watch this uh, so thank you if you're watching this it has been a really fantastic week it has been a very intensely uh, good week an intense week of change a lot of things have been going on I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to get a sofa and to get a dresser and you know that time that Mike had off was really fantastic and just sweet little things are happening in our life and I'm beyond grateful for that so more updates to come um I'm also planning on doing a review of the Ilya super serum skin tint which I'm wearing right now and I've got a collection of new additions that I want to show you. So I'm thinking about breaking it down into new additions of beauty and wellness and new clothing, shoes, and accessory additions. Plus, I don't know if you guys would be interested in this, but I really, really, really want to talk about how to plan out your wardrobe because I find myself writing the same things down again and again in my journal about what items I'm dreaming of having and getting so let me know if you'd like a video on that but don't forget to check the description box below for links to anything I mentioned in the video and I love you so much and I will see you next week okay oh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and to turn on the notifications bell in case you want to be the first to hear from me. So anyways, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and week, wherever you are. I love you, and I will see you next time.